No. Give me that! Never try to act quick a rabbit. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just jealous because I want to play too. Oh, why didn't you say so? Boy! Never try to outsmart me. There it is. Be right back. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Getting my big red rubber ball. Oh, it's my favoriteest, favoriteest ball ever. I call him Bolly. So, you just trespass in people's yards without asking permission? Your yard? But I, I thought we were the only ones who lived in this tree. You thought wrong! My house, my tree, my yard. And if you want to come into my yard, you have to ask me first. May I please come into your yard? No. Oh, well, um, then can I just have my Bolly back? No. So what are you gonna do? Cry about it? <laughs> no. to you, so I'll help you get it back. I wasn't there, so I didn't see what happened, but I'm pretty sure that you handled it wrong. In a situation like this, you need to be neighborly. Yeah? Hello, sir. My name is Brandy Harrington of the Florida Harringtons. I'm your neighbor from upstairs. Mm-hmm. My friend Mr. Whiskers accidentally let his ball fall out our window. And? And I believe you now have it? Yep. So I was wondering, Mr... Cantarius of the Get Off My Yard Cantariuses. Okay. Mr. Cantarius, I was hoping that I could persuade you to give Whiskers his ball back. No. No? <laughs> what do you mean, no? It's a simple word. Two letters. N-O. Well, we'll just have to trust you on that. What's your problem, snail? My problem is you two. You step on my mushroom garden, you throw your garbage all over my lawn, and you yodel all stinking night. <laughs> uh -huh. You heard that? Every night. Just before I hear you screaming like a banshee. Mister, stop! You can't yodel! Listen, snail, you don't own this tree. We were here first, and if you don't like it, you can move. I've lived here for years. I've never noticed you before. Hey, watch out! Can you keep it down? That's my garden! You're stepping in my garden! Wow, that was convincing. You know what? I tried the nice thing, but I am so over it. I am taking Whiskers' ball back, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ha! What is... Oh, I'm sorry. I must have gotten some of my snail slime on your ball. Brandy, I uh, couldn't help but notice that we don't have Bolly back yet. Now, I am a well-adjusted bunny, and I am fine with that, but... I miss my Bolly! <laughs> Look, Whiskers, maybe we can just go to the Malaria and get you a new Bolly. A new Bolly? Brandy, I am shocked. You can't replace Bolly like it was just some inanimate object. It is. Oh! <gasps> I am going to pretend you did not say that, Brandy, okay? I am going to pretend you said Marshmallow. Why did you say Marshmallow? Still, I can't stand the thought of that slime ball winning. Oh, hooray! So what's the plan? We're not just getting your ball back. We're getting rid of that jerk snail. Cantarius thinks we're lousy neighbors. He has no idea. Mr. Cantarius's mushroom garden. Whiskers, go to it! I thought you'd just like to see me ride the big boy machines. I sure hope Mr. Cantarius didn't see it. Hmm, must not be home. But imagine the look on his face when he sees his garden. Yeah, he'll be totally cheesed off. Yeah, he'll be like, slime? Slime! Ah! <laughs> Why did he say slime, slime? Ah! Slime, slime! Ah! Oops, there I go, leaving my slime all over my tree. Sorry, squatters! I love candy! Yep, this is our tastiest scheme ever. Much more, and I'm gonna have to hurl! Me too, let's stop! Ah, 
Oh, gee, Whiskers, who will clean up the mess we left on that cranky snail's lawn? Oh, I'm too full of sugar to care. Same here. Gloves. Check, check, the check. The only way to be sure you're slime-free. In your face, Cactarius! Let's see you stick around after that. Ugh, too much candy. I gotta brush my teeth. Don't forget to floss! Snail! <laughs> Got it! Tooth and snail! Because he's a snail! <laughs> and he was in your mouth! <laughs> that little slime bucket is tougher than I thought. So what do we do? What we always do when we've exhausted our arsenal of offensive actions. House party! Without kettle cord, everybody dig in! Ladies? Oh, something doesn't taste right. Love the party. My invite must have gotten lost in the mail. <laughs> Anyone want to hear my tooth and snail joke? No? We can't beat him, Whiskers. He has no boundaries. First our teeth. What if our cute, cute hair is next? Face it! He's won. He's out slimed us. No, no! We must have some other option. Something! I guess we're going to have to take this to... Arthur's Court! Before I render my decision, I would like to remind you all that I am not an arbiter by profession. I just have this nifty wig and some spare powder. That said, do both parties agree to abide by my ruling? That my decision is final and there is no appeal? Yes! Sure! After careful review of said facts in the case of who owns the tree in which both of your domiciles are located, I have decided... <laughs> nobody owns the tree. Huh? What? Huh? The tree is a part of the forest, like the wind and the sky. Can one own the sky, Ms. Brandy? Can one own the wind, Mr. Cantarius? Sure, maybe if you had a really powerful fan. But the point is, it belongs to all of us, the family of the rainforest. So what are we supposed to do? Yeesh, I don't know. Work it out, I guess. Figure some way to get along. And you call yourself an arbitrator? Huh, my word is final. Ah, uh -uh. respect the wig. There is no way I'm sharing that tree with you. It's our tree. It's my tree, and I'm not going anywhere. Fine. Nobody will live in the tree. Ready? No, don't do it. My ball isn't worth this! Oh, who cares about your stupid ball? This is snail payback! Okay! Stop! Stop! You made your point! We can work something out, right? Here you go. Here's your bully back. Bully! Did he hurt you? How many fingers am I holding up? Okay, then. Peace, Mr. C? Peace. Oh, this is the beginning of a new era. The era of good neighborliness. Why? If you need to borrow eggs, you can borrow eggs. If you need to borrow sugar, you can borrow sugar. And if you need salt... You can borrow salt! No! The doctor says Mr. Canterias should make a full recovery in about three months. Who knew snails react so badly to salt? Please give him these flowers, Lola, and tell him we wish him well. Yeah, and he can play with my ball, too, if it makes him feel better. Uh, ow! Ah, ow! Where did this stupid ball come from? On second thought, we were never here. 